Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Secret of Mana and, well, it's time to leave Polo's village for good. They, they raised Randy like a son and he pulls out and they throw him out for pulling out a sword. Yeah, and right there is Cannon Trial Center, so I'm not going to make use of that yet. Now there's an instance where it's mandatory. Just not right now. And also, in between episodes, I edited the border and color the border. Well, edit my border and background color for my menus. And we got a new enemy there, Lullabud. I think it can put you to sleep or... So I gotta be careful here. I think it has maybe 30, either 38 or 40 HP. Oh, so Water Palace is ahead and Pandora's to the south. Well, we're supposed to go to the Water Palace, so let's go there. And those are mushrooms. Root there. Mushroom. Yeah, I wanted to finish it off with, with a charge attack. And this one's danger. Beware of goblins. Okay, all I see is flowers. Alright, so it's pretty... I, it might actually be 36. Alright, and now I'm level 3, so... Yeah, and Randy's now strong enough to take out those rabbis in one shot. Oh, Nikos. And this is Nico himself. And I'll shop. Alright, got candy, chocolate, royal jam. These are all HP recovery items. We also got the Fairy Walnut, which restores our MP. It's kind of expensive because Nico jacks up his prices to twice the amount they normally are, but for the time being, this is the only way we can get MP restoring items. Other than sleeping, medical herb, a couple wishes, and a barrel for 900. I think what that does is allows us to get through the area without, without taking damage, but we can't attack either. Also, we got some headgear and a wristband. I'm going to hold off on the wristband because I think it's expensive. Hi, there's nothing else here. Yeah, and once you hit the dash button, you can't control where you dash. Alright, so it's gotta be at least 36 HP. I won't have analyzed for a while, so I won't have a way of knowing for sure. And hey, there's some soldiers. A whip. Major dialogue. Oh, so talking to that soldier, that third soldier sends them on their way. I ain't forgotten that part. And it sounds like they teleport. Water Palace is up ahead. And if you're wondering, this is the teleport pad. And this is where we would need to whip. Can't go there. Yet. But. We might as well head to the Water Palace. Oh, hey, Gemma. Hmm. Wow. So serene. Alright, so... Hmm. No one there. But there's this switch. Just tap on it and we can actually get to where we're going. K. 
can't do anything with the one on the left, so let's press the one on the right. I wonder. Yeah. Wait. You, you happen to be Luca? You know where Luca is? Oh. Oh, so she's Luca. Huh. <laughs> Randy. Not knowing much about the world. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So. Yeah, because Luca is the water. They had a water temple. I guess she can read water, I guess. Ah. Oh. So. It's not because I'm special, it's because it's weakened. Hmm. So. We need to uh, defeat monsters and get get his power at. Well, yeah, the mantis ant was what we find the last episode. More orbs. Oh, so we need someone to, who can turn our sword into power. Well, make our sword more powerful. Wait a minute. The Empire wants the mana fortress. So that story Randy might have heard when he was younger turns out to be real. Mana seeds, you mean like the one that was behind you? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. It might be time to investigate. Wait, Gaia's navel. Hmm. It's, uh, it's like a hole in the ground. Would there be lint in, in Guy's navel? Oh, no lint, just dwarves. And dwarves can make good weapons. Ah, oh, so the more powerful our weapons get, the more abilities we can unlock. Well, I guess we can talk to Luca. Uh, let's see, the sword or the fortress. I don't think it matters either way. What you answer, I think the answers are a bit different. Ah. So the mana fortress was built to control mana? Hmm. And it was the sword that saved the world. Oh, that is demons. Hmm, so... Power. Yeah, I might as well ask about the power. Hmm. So, we're destined to become a hero. All right. So we had to answer okay, otherwise we'll. Be uh, stuck in this loop. Alright, so. What? What does the scene do? Hmm. So the sword is protecting the seed. Oh, so. Only we get the power to mana seed. There are eight palaces. And we get a spear? Nice! Okay, I'll find them. And, well, first opportunity to save the game. You can s I could have saved at the end, but... Oh. The underground palace is in Guy's Navel, you say. But we have to head through Pandora first. But yeah, I might as well show one more thing. We can actually switch weapons. The spear is a bit more strong and powerful. I wonder what's down here. Hmm. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be any anything at all.
I wonder if they had any intentions of putting something there and just didn't. Because in all the times I've played this, I've never found anything there. And there's a place to the right, but it, the enemies are too powerful for us at this point, so let's not. I don't remember if you can actually go in there or not. Well, we got a spear, but no whip. Now, it is a bit stronger and it operates a bit differently. Yeah, I kind of had to run into that with the spear quick. I could have switched to the sword. Oh! Oh, great. Goblins. And what will these goblins be doing to us? They're cooking us alive. Wait a minute. What do you mean, dude? Hmm. Yep, they're cooking us alive. I mean... But first, they have to dance. They gotta work up an appetite, but hey, who are you? Yeah. Uh, oh, hey. Yeah. Yeah, we're. Uh, okay. I'll be very fine. And she throws us out of the out of the soup. Thanks for helping. Oh. So... Who were you looking for exactly? Oh. <sighs> yeah. She's a real hero. Saving lies and leaving but without being faint. And the mushroom got whacked. Right now we're supposed to go to Pandora. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. These, these flowers can poison us. That's why it is that they do it. I'm thinking it was a different flower that causes sleep. And also here, see, we can't cut down those this grass with the spear, but we need the sword. The spear is mainly for what? Mainly for the attack boost. So we got a thing here. I'm not so sure what it does. Stand on it and it'll, it'll jump, jump you up there. That's why you would need a sword. If you got, if you had the spear quick, you would have been stuck. You would have to switch to the sword to get out. Get away from me, flower. I don't want your poison. Alright, well, we made our way to Pandora now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Tasnica. So that's where Gemma's from. Saying, don't talk to the people in town. I wonder why. Well, you might have something I want. Like this wristband that's worth half the price that Nico was charging. I can't quit the Kung Fu suit or the hair ribbon. I will grab this medical, a couple of medical herbs. 
and the poison actually does go away after a while. I think it does like 19 points of damage total. And she's giving us the silent treatment. So you're saying she grown senile? I don't think that's it. Oh, hi. Gathering at the ruins. And that's where your grandma goes? Hmm. Well, maybe we have to explore that sometime. Yeah, there's the end. And a piece of candy costs 10 gold. Uh, wait. Alright, alright, I will. Yeah, you could either use a piece of candy or just rest up here and... They're the same price, so... At least I save some money. Randy has no magic, so there's no point. Yeah, and that number you see in the bottom right of every save file is how many save... It's the n number of saves you're at. It, it goes, I believe, from 1 to 99. But if you have multiple save files, it'll just be the same. Actually, if I'm right, if it's multiple save files, it determines which file you saved that most recently. Oh, there is someone here. Hi. Master and daughter are arranging a marriage. Huh. Uh, no, I'm raised marriage today. Not. I don't exactly like I think you go south to get to the, the palace. Now coming at a later time. I might as well check here. And your parents? What's wrong with them? Huh, they don't seem to say anything. It's like they lost the will to talk. Well, that's a mystery we'll have to come across later. But, you know what? I might as well head down there anyway. Hmm. Some weird statues. Hey. Hmm, there's some soldiers, but no one's talking. Yeah, they're just like the people in town. Yeah, if you talk to any of them, they won't say a thing. Even the guards blocking your way won't say a thing. There's no point. Let's just keep going. Alright, we got an armor shop, but... Yeah, this... Dancing Salesman is also affected. Hmm. Let it live. They at least lost the will to talk. Ugh. Well, at least you're talking. <laughs> yeah, let's check the castle. Maybe there's something there we can use. I'll check in here. Hi. Oh, so... That, hmm, so they haven't come back at all. And... Oh, so this witch seems to be pretty powerful. Yeah, so... Hmm, zombies you say. Well, let's continue exploring around the castle. There's no door to our right, so we just go straight in. Hi. Yeah, that- wait a minute. So you're saying those villager- those guards aren't yours? Hmm. So that was 15 years ago. Alright, 
I need that kid to get out of the way. Oh, Dalit seems like a good guy. Hey. So you think that people are acting strangely because of the witch? Oh, so the kid thinks it's actually the ruins to this house. Sir Elman? Yeah, I wonder. Hey, it's that girl. Well, kinda, yeah. Witch. Oh, so... We're having to go to the guy's navel, and this girl's gonna deal with the witch. Now, I'm gonna be using the name that's supposed to be official, I believe. I'm gonna name her... No, not Prim. Prim. I think it's a play on Prim and Proper. But yeah, and our girl Prim comes with a spike knuckle. Not as strong, teaches in martial arts. Oh, I forgot to equip this wristband. And she comes with the Kung Fu suit. Oh, and there's Elman. That must be her dad. We can't talk to him. Okay, so let's... Well, before I go into that big door, let's go into this small one. No one's here. Me. Huh. So you're saying she's draining people of their energy? Hmm. Oh. So they're going to the ruins to the south. Okay. Looks like I still have to head the guy's navel. Oh, hey. Okay, looks like they don't want us to stay here because, well, everyone's suddenly not able to talk and are becoming zombified. Wait a minute. So... So is the king or, well, Talek is a soldier so he does have to follow orders. He might be their best soldier. I'm gonna check in here. Yeah, this is the king's room. Hmm. Guessing you had nothing to deal with in the past decade and a half. Oh, so there's treasure there, but we can't get to it yet. Uh, our motivation is to power up the sword and save the world. Prim's motivation... She's in love... She loves a guy. I don't know how that dialogue feels about her. But at the same time... I'm Arranging your own child to be married to someone she may not be interested in? Doesn't seem right. Actually, I don't think I'll be spending any, anything on Prim to improve Prim's equipment, so I'm gonna check for time. Yeah, and I'm gonna end it here, so next time we'll continue bridging forward. I'm gonna go to Guy's Navel first, so until then, I want you to have a good day, everyone, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Later, everybody.